I don't believe it. You are out of your mind. This is like the Mu 12 fight. Yeah, pretty much. This is absolutely ridiculous. To say the least. I I can't believe it, dude. Well, at least I can skip the conversation, but beating all of these assholes again? That's so stupid. I, I can't believe that you're gonna do something like this, dude. That's absolute fucking horseshit, and you know it. You know it's absolute horseshit. I wonder if I can still get the achievement by beating it with other characters in that free play, but I don't think that counts. Dude, that's so stupid, why would you even do that? Everything was going fine, the way it was. Why do you take continues out at the end? That's why this achievement barely has any... Like, it's why barely anyone got it. Because it's absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe it. If I had knew that I only had one try, I would have... I would have tried harder it a lot more. If I knew that one try was all I, I get. God damn it, dude. Fucking lying bitch ass Neko arc. Then I will have infinite continues. It's unbelievable, dude. Might be the hardest achievement to get if that's the case. Which makes sense, it's one of the last achievements that there there is there, but it's absolutely ridiculous. It's okay. I can still do it, it's just that it's gonna take so much fucking time to do it. That's the problem. It's gonna take so much time. Wait, I said skip conversation. What part of skip conversation didn't you understand? Damn, dude. It's really gonna be something else. It's okay. Problem is that Shiki at the end, as I said, he deals like half health of damage with a single special. A single special is all it takes to deal that much damage. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, come on. I guess I'm gonna try it one more time just because now I know that I only get one try. And if I fall this time, I guess this shit can go it a bit. So, you know, I can still try harder at some point, but it's absolutely ridiculous, regardless. I'm too far, that special doesn't really do much. Damn, she ran me out of it. This was the most annoying one of the bosses, the one that took me the most to beat. And it makes sense, this character is a piece of shit. I mean, Noel, obviously. Damn, you. What a pain in the ass. What a pain in the ass. But it's okay. I 
guess I will try doing it with the other characters to see if it counts. Because obviously, I mean, if you do it in this story mode, apparently you get another cutscene. But I could give less of a shit about the cutscene that I get, so... If it's enough to unlock the, the achievement, I'm definitely doing it with CL. With CL should be able to out-bullshit anything that Shiki has. I can just keep running away and throw projectiles from afar. So I'm gonna try to do that. Yeah, there was definitely a reason why the achievement was so rare. It was not because nobody played the story mode, it's because it's hard as shit. It's, okay. it's gonna happen, I know it will, the question is how long it's gonna take. But you know. I, I still think that it's very stupid that they... They, they, they don't allow you to continue at the end, especially when it seems that it's clearly the hardest the hardest one of the bosses. Clearly, it's the last one. But it's okay. It also seems that I could have gotten a different ending if I lost in one of these. I'm not sure. Right. Oh, come on, you're almost dead. There you go. And everyone get it, falls for the fucking for the fucking uh, grab at the beginning of the round, and by everyone I mean obviously just the computer. That's enough. Damn, okay, nice, nice shield. What about? Oh, come on, damn it. Come on, do it. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Though it will always be worse. Imagine if... If instead of only being the... If instead of only being the last boss, the one that you couldn't continue, it would be every single boss. Which is what I would expect. Considering that the mode is called Boss Rush, so you know, I guess it's fine either way. I could last arc this motherfucker, but he's probably not gonna fall for it. No, he ain't gonna fall for it. He indeed did not. I was able to beat this guy on the first try before. I guess I cannot now. That sucks. Fuck me, dude. Can't believe it. I'm still. Still so surprised that they went for this. The Who is gonna think of the poor casual? Oh, I guess I am a casual for playing this mode, but you know. But all the other casuals. People that are casual even for the single player. Nice. Uh, are you kidding me? There you go. I was very close. In fact, I didn't mean to do that moon drive activation. I think that's how it's called. Didn't mean to do that, but it kinda helped me. Kinda. Not really that much, though. 
Nice try, bitch. Really think I was gonna fall for that. Oh no, I'm not. We're activating so much. There you go. That scream from Blob is so fucking funny. Like, it really sounds like he's in absolute pain. Even though he always acts so emotionless, right? Yeah. What I'm gonna say is that if I die to Shiki again, I'm definitely gonna try... I'm gonna try with Ciel. And see if that's at least enough to get the achievement, even though I doubt it. But I mean, I'm pretty sure that the achievement says beat Boss Rush. Or maybe it says beat the story in Boss Rush, in which case I will be in trouble, obviously. But I don't remember what it says. Hopefully it doesn't say beat the story in Boss Rush, because that's gonna suck. Damn, you're getting <laughs> fucked by the same combo. Are you gonna get perfect? Is that the case? No, it's not gonna get perfect. Ah, uh, she was invincible and she's gonna do the arc, right? What a bitch. It doesn't matter, you're still dead. Get on. Get absolutely on. Hi, stop. Stop. Yeah, indeed, stop talking, because I'm gonna skip your ass. <laughs> I, it's funny how that super that she did right there is the same super that I tried to do while I was on her story mode and I failed to to land it every single time and it seems that the AI is having problems landing it just like me I'm pretty sure that that might not be it. Well, she landed it there in the middle of a combo after all. Damn, Red Arcade is getting fucked. My problem with this, other than, well, obviously the fact that it is hard to beat the final boss without continues, obviously. My problem is that every fight before it, it's pretty much filler. Because it's not hard, it's just that it's obviously a pain in the ass to do it again. Obviously, that applies to every single, you know, secret final boss that works like this. You know, well, I don't, this one I don't think it works as secret, but my point is that, you know, in fighting games, every time there is a a secret final boss at the end, usually you cannot continue. Uh, that especially applies to a lot of the Street Fighter games. Not Street Fighter 2, funnily enough. You can actually continue as many times as you want against Takuma, but for example Street Fighter 4, you cannot continue after uh, you fight against the secret final boss. That's a lot of damage. Oh, invincibility. Well, but what am I supposed to do there? If that's an unblockable...
Maybe I, I'm supposed to fu to jump like in uh, above her. So otherwise that shit is uh, undodgeable. I I already tried blocking it and it didn't work. So I mean I tried blocking it the other time and it did not work. I ate it completely for breakfast. So I don't know. I mean a lot of other arc drives are very well. Relatively easy to dodge, but this one is definitely not the case. This one is extremely fucked up. Hey Yannick, how is it going? Hey, apparently it is an unblockable in this mode. This is the boss rush mode after all. Every enemy here is a stronger version of the of the of the main well the main the, the normal character, right? So this red archway obviously deals a lot a lot more damage. She has bigger projectiles. Well bigger and more projectiles, so you know. It's basically very hard unless you don't let them breathe. Which is what I try to do. But it's a little bit hard. In this room. Yeah. As if that wasn't bad enough, the very last boss of this boss rush mode cannot be continued. So you have to beat it on your first attempt, or you need to do all this shit again. So this uh, should go a lot harder. A lot harder than I expected. That's the problem. It's the current situation, basically. That's fucked up. Yeah, it is. It is, but it wouldn't be as I was saying before. It's not the first time a fighting game does that. Uh, but yeah. I mean, this is pretty much what the arcade mode is in this game. Since there, are, there is no arcade mode, this will pretty much be the replacement if you wanna think about it that way. But yeah, it's really fucked up. And I already beat this, but as I said before, I didn't beat the final boss that... By the way, with a normal attack he can basically take away half of your fucking health. So... You know, it's definitely very fucked up, to say the least. But you gotta figure out a way to do it. Like, it's gotta happen, no matter what. I'm not gonna give up that easily. But what I need to know, since this is, like, basically this boss rush has a story mode, right? A story mode, you play as this girl, Miyako. Is the, the protagonist of this mode, but you also can play this mode with any other character. Obviously, there is no story there, but you can just play it with any other. The question is if the achievement counts for those characters or no. Because if it counts for those characters, I'm definitely not gonna waste my time trying to get it with this one going with CL and I'm gonna see what I can do instead of trying with Miyako but I, I, I will need to read the achievement test again to, to see if that's the case or not I really hope it is because I don't really see myself defeating the final boss with this girl as much as I will want. God damn it. Ah, uh, that's gonna... Oh, alright. <laughs> sure, I'll take that. And she's looking a lot of shit. Very unlike what the AI usually does. Uh, that hit me! That was a projectile and I landed behind him and it still hit me. Wow, nice jump. That's the first time that they jump a gravitant 
at the beginning of the round, I think. Just keep her in check like that. As long as she doesn't attempt... Oh, that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck because right here she can deal a ridiculous amount of damage all of a sudden. But she didn't, so... Yeah. Get on. Okay, so the the only one left before the final boss is Akiha, and after this, we will see. Keep this shit. We will see. I like last time it took me by surprise. I didn't think it was gonna be just one attempt. But now that I know that it's only one attempt, I'm gonna try hard. Obviously, I don't think that really matters that much, because it's still gonna be just as hard. But now I'm at least prepared to be fully focused on it. We will see. That's the problem, the game doesn't even warn you that you only have one try. Explain to me the funny cat. That's Neko Arc. That's the cat version of Arcwave. Uh, she's basically a gag character that appeared in past Melty Bloods. To the point where she was even a playable character in past Melty Bloods. A shame that she is not playable here, but you know, it's the way it is. It was playable in a lot of the other Melty Bloods. There is even another arc, uh, like another Neko version of, of another character. But the funny thing is that that other Neko version, like the original character it's based on, it's not even in in the Tsukihime remake. That character was Nero. Nero is not here anymore. And well, the, the Neko version obviously is not here either. So, you know. And you're dead. Okay, so here comes Shiki. This is the problem. Shiki is gonna fucking kick my ass, but let's try our best. It's so fucked up that they don't let you continue this shit here, dude. But it's okay, I'll try. I promise I'll try. <laughs> The problem is that the AI for Shiki is, is not bad, regardless of if this version of Shiki or not. That's the problem. That attack that he has right there is so busted. Depending on how that shit hits you, he can deal half of your health of damage for free. Free of charge. Okay, first round is mine. Okay, okay. Keep it cool. Oh, uh, that's invincible. Uh, there's nothing I could have done there other than... Okay, insta-kill. Insta-kill. Nice. Very cool of you, Shiki, to do that. <laughs> so basically, that attack, you might be like, why the fuck didn't you block? You can't block. It's unblockable. I should have champ, yes, but I didn't see it coming. There we go, this should kill. 
this should be enough to kill. Please tell me it is. There you go. I fucking got it. Damn. That was crazy. Uh, that was something else, dude. I can't believe he does a full... He does a full uh, uh, bar uh, attack. That super is an insta kill and it's unblockable. At least I got to see it, but damn, that was so fucked up. What you mean wasn't an option on the character select screen? It was. Are you stone? Oh, I guess it's saying it's explaining why I am selectable now. Yeah, a time paradox. You know, the only thing that can set my heart at ease is none other than you giving me the fucking achievement. If you give me the achievement, everything's gonna be fine. Well, I would like to see Neko Ark as an actual DLC character. Well, no, I would have liked to see her since the beginning, but since she's not here now, it would be nice if she was DLC. Free DLC, obviously, but you know. Damn, and that was the ending. And there is the achievement. Boss rush completed. Nice. Oh no, there is a still more ending. おそるべき壁が待っています。塞ぎ込んでいる暇は微塵もないのです。うん。もっともっと強くならないと待っててね、お兄ちゃん。次は必ずパンケーキを食べるんだから。確証はないけど、リミットにはまだ猶予があるは